Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and welcome back to 3D Games and Game Maker. So once in a while someone will ask if you can draw, like, a tile map, like a regular Game Maker 2D tile map in a 3D world in Game Maker, and the answer is yes you can. Um, I generally don't because I don't find it super useful because I generally have my own room editor solutions. Uh, that don't involve tile maps, but you may, you may want to do this. Um, I am not doing it in this in this demo here. This, what you see on the floor, this uh, tile pattern was created as a vertex buffer in the camera's create event, and we're just submitting that. But uh, today we're gonna talk about how you might use a tile map in 3D in Game Maker. It's not complicated. Uh, there's a little bit more to it than you might want to, um, than you might have to do when drawing a tile map in 2D in Game Maker, but Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is comment out vertex emit ground, PR triangle list bracket texture grass zero. And the second thing I'm going to do is uh, go into the room editor. So I did load in a, uh, a sprite, which is to act as a tile set. This is a, um, this is basically the, the simple tile set that I've been using in the, um, the, what I like to call the base project tutorials. So the, the regular 2D game maker thing with the duck and the dogs and stuff. Um, and there's also a, a, tile, a tile set that goes with that so that this can be used as a tile map in the um, in the Game Maker room editor. And if I were to go and let's say create ourselves a tile set, um, we can we can create ourselves a tile layer. I can draw TS underscore main onto the tile layer and we can start doing tile layer things. Uh, I'm going to first flood fill the whole thing with just the, the green grass, the generic green grass. And then I'm gonna start, I think, scattering down some like tufty grass and flowers and whatnot, just so that you can see that there's gonna be something happening. I'm not going to go too overboard. Um, I don't want to, to make this a video on using like tile layer tools and stuff. Uh, let's, uh, let's have some, some sandy path and some water. If I was really being diligent, I would make these into like uh, auto tile brushes and let you paint down like a path or something, but who has time for that really? So uh, on its own, uh, this would draw more or less correctly. In Game Maker, if you try to if you try to do this, um, it is not really recommended that you just like Game Maker try to handle automatic tile map drawing in 3D in Game Maker. As you can see, um, I've I've complained on and off about depth in Game Maker in 3D in the past. I made a video on depth in 3D in Game Maker a little while ago, and in 2D this all makes sense. In 2D, the concept of depth makes sense uh, because you you mostly just care about whether like something is being drawn on top of or underneath something else. But in 3D, it starts to get a little messy because Game Maker kind of sort of thinks depth is like the, the vertical uh, Z coordinate in some cases, and it, it kind of gets in the way. Uh, you can see that the uh, the tile map is being drawn underneath everything else, and it's being drawn like, I believe that would be 100 pixel units down below the ground, which is not really ideal. You can fix that by forcing the, t the tile layer to be depth equals zero, like that, but um, it's... In the long run, I don't really think trying to trying to make Game Maker automatically play with depth in 3D is really worth it. Uh, instead, uh, what you can do is you can turn off the tile layer. You can make it invisible. You can also do this for code, and I'll get to that soon enough. And you can uh, you can manually draw it. Uh, there's a couple functions related to tile maps. I'm going to is that font big enough? Um, we can say layer get id. ID and this is going to be a function which takes the name of a layer, which is just going to be in our case tiles underscore one. Uh, this is the name of the of the layer that you give the tile layer or that you give any layer in um in the room editor. So tiles underscore one, right? And uh, this is going to return the ID of that layer. And the ID of the layer, I'm going to call this var layer ID equals that. Um, the layer ID itself doesn't contain any tile map information that you can just draw or anything like that. But you can use another function, which is going to be tile, and I've already forgotten what this is called. Um, layer tile map get ID is what I've written down. Layer tile tile map get ID. And this is going to be a second function, and it's going to take a, a parameter as well. It's going to take the layer ID as a parameter, and that is going to be whatever we got from layer get ID. And this is going to return a tile map ID. So I could save our tile map ID is going to be equal to this. And uh, lastly, this is a uh, this is going to be a reference to an actual tile map which we can actually draw, and we can say draw tile map. This is going to take the tile map element ID, which is what we just got, like this, and it is going to take 
an X and it is going to take a Y. Um, why do I feel like that was the wrong number of zeros? There we go. And this is going to let us draw the, uh, the tile map uh, however we want. This is going to just draw it by default at the world origin. Uh, there is no matrix transform or anything and we're drawing it at zero, zero. So it's going to be drawn at the world origin. It is going to be serving as the floor. No depth shenanigans needed. Um, if you uh, if you wanted to, you could use a um, matrix set, matrix world, matrix build. Uh, you could give it a, a transform matrix and this should respect it. So if I were to make it like 100, 100 and like negative 50 or something like that. No rotation, uniform scaling. And then reset the world matrix when we're done. Uh, this should be respected when you try to draw the tile map later, and indeed it is. It is being drawn somewhat offset from the world origin, which would be where I'm standing right now. And it's being drawn down there instead, some distance below the floor. Hey. And you can you can basically treat draw tile map as any of the other drawing functions in Game Maker. Uh, you could run shaders on them. You could, um, I guess shaders are kind of the main thing that would be relevant to drawing something. You could run shaders on a tile map if you wanted. On that note, the uh, when you draw a tile map in Game Maker, it will use the same internal vertex format that like most other default Game Maker drawing things use, such as sprites or surfaces or uh, fonts or that kind of thing. And uh, the vertex format is going to be a 3D position, a 2D texture coordinate, and a color value. And uh, most importantly, it doesn't have a, a built-in normal. It doesn't have a built-in surface normal. And that means that if you try to do something such as uh, draw a tile map with the shader underscore basic 3D stuff shader, uh, which does require that you supply a, a surface normal, or at least a vertex normal uh, as the vertex format, then uh, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to draw anything. And if you look in the console, uh, you will see that we have our old nemesis draw failed due to invalid in input layout, because the shader is looking for a, a normal vector, and it's not getting a normal vector from the tile map. Um, if you wanted to like fake it, you could you could just assume that the uh, the normal vector for a tile map in Game Maker is going to be a vec three with zero on the x, zero on the y, and one on the z. But that is a little bit beyond the scope of this video, and I'm not going to be uh, getting into that right now. So if you want to um, if you want to implement 3D lighting on a tile layer, or if you want to implement, for example, shadow mapping. On a tile layer, you will have to uh, you'll have to write a slightly modified version of the shader for actual 3D objects that can account for that. So this does sort of, kind of, maybe beg the question of what happens if you use a, uh, a filter effect in 3D in Game Maker, and that is more or less a whole can of worms that I'm not sure if I really want to spend time on right now. Um, if you were to apply a filter effect to uh, like a room in 3D in Game Maker. And uh, if you were to run the game, you would see that instead of the filter being applied to the actual... Oh, I didn't actually set one. Um, but instead of the filter being applied to... Let's go with pixelate, because that should make it um, a little bit easier to see what's going on. Uh, instead of the filter effect being applied to the actual like texture that's being drawn, it's being applied to screen space, and it's basically a screen space filter, a uh, pixelate screen space filter. And that is something that has its uses, but I think is beyond the scope of this video as well. I just wanted to acknowledge that it does exist, uh, since filter effects are kind of the, the cool new thing that Game Maker features nowadays. It's probably the most um, widely applicable new addition that we've gotten to Game Maker uh, for quite a while. Like, video playback is interesting, time sources are nice, but filter effects can really be used for a lot of things. Anyway, that's that. See, is there anything else? Um, if you draw a tile map in uh, in Game Maker before you actually set the camera projection, then this will actually just like have the tile map being drawn like on the background, kind of not in a very interesting way, in a two D way. You can see it's covering, it's obscuring the screen. Um, just uh, just in case you're wondering what happens if you do this before you set the camera projection, um, recommend not doing that. That is a potential source of trouble that I could see some people running into. Anyway, if you want the code for this, look for the GitHub repository down in the video description. Uh, I don't personally find a lot of use in using like tile maps in 3D in Game Maker, but I think uh, it's fair to say that at least some people will. And it's possible that if I just started using Game Maker later for 3D things, like after the advent of Game Maker Studio 2 and uh, tile map layers, I uh, I might actually have have decided to to do more with this myself.
I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these videos being made, links to that can be found in all the usual places. You could see some fun things like your name in the credits. Uh, once a month I post a preview of my future plans. Sometimes I even stick to them, and if you wanted to pledge, I would definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one tutorial tutorial like this, and one let's make a game, currently Bullet Hell. So if any of the weirder things you can do in Game Maker, such as 3D stuff, are of interest to you, feel free to subscribe. I hope you all found this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, Gunnar Clovis, Kiexi, Posho, Syndra Larson, Square Crow, Then Nothing Happened, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or hear yourself shouted out at the end like this, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.